All right, hello, my name is Scott Young from Optrix Engineering, and we are a network partner. Uh, it, we've been working with uh, clients of all sizes throughout North America for the last oh, 20 years. And we're proud to say that one of our partners, and especially in the backup world, is Unitrends. And with me, I have uh, John Carney and Jordan Morsoff from Unitrends. And we're gonna have more of a fireside chat to really dig deep into some things that uh, you might find interesting. And, and some things that we're gonna find out about are who is Unitrends, uh, what makes them unique in the industry, what the process is like if you are suffering from a ransomware attack and need to recover your backup. Uh, specifically and how that Unitrends handles that, uh, if Unitrends pr uh, protects SaaS products, uh, as well as how dark monitoring, which is something that's new in the industry, plays into backups. Now, before we do that, if you stick to the end, we're going to let you know how you can get a $50 gift certificate. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Now, but first, before we get into things, gentlemen, let's do some introductions. So, John, tell me, what's your role at Unitrends? How long have you been there? And something that's interesting or what you like to do when you're not working? Sure. Uh, my name is John Carney. I've been with Unitrends for about a year and a half. Interesting fact is I am identical twin brother. Uh, I have an, oh. I'm an identical twin who's a, my brother because you can only be identical uh, for the same sex. Yeah. And it, Interesting fact, I just got married during the pandemic, which is quite fun, uh, believe it or not, trying to, how do we do, regulations going on, so it's really enjoying spending time with my wife. We're active on weekends, going for hikes and other bike rides as well. Excellent, and what is it you do, and so congratulations. I didn't, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and uh, so what is it, what's your role at Unitrends? I'm a regional partner manager. So I cover all of North Central US as well as Canada. Great, and it's been, I have to say, it's been great working with you so far. So, uh, so excellent, thank you, John. How, Jordan, how about yourself? Uh, Jordan Warsaw, a solutions engineer here at Unitrends, coming up on seven years in December. Uh, and what do I like to do for fun? I, I like a lot of things. I've recently, let's see, I've recently ran my first half merit, I guess I'm, I'm up to number, I've done, I recently ran a half marathon. It was canceled because of COVID, uh, the New York, the Brooklyn half marathon, but I ended up just running a similar route anyway. I ran a second one, and I'm actually hoping, I'm based in New York City, and I'm actually going to hopefully either this weekend or next weekend run my third half marathon, and I'm going to do the perimeter of Manhattan. Uh, other than that, I love, I don't know, board games, uh, running with my dog. She doesn't do the full half marathon. And I've been doing a lot of hiking and hoping to, if it is safe to do so, get some skiing in as well. Nice. Yeah, actually, as a side, uh, this year I, I'm uh, into obstacle course racing, so like Spartan Race and that. Type yeah. Of and so a, a lot of the races that normally would happen are happening with virtual races. So you, do you have to make? Do you have to build out the objects yourself? And they're like, do like a ten foot circle, and you're like, eh, like this little step will do. Actually, I did. I did a, a virtual uh, Spartan race with my son. He uh, well, one for kids and one myself, and it it was uh, for him. It, it was two miles, and then they said you had little uh, activities you had to do every. Uh, so uh, like 100 or 10 burpees and 10 crab walks and, oh. and uh, threw in a few extra things and got a little medal in the mail uh, the other day. And for, yeah, for the actual Spartan race part, part for the adults is more or less just to get out there, do a bunch of burpees, do a bunch <laughs> of planks and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. So it's interesting how it, the industry has, uh, has changed things up. And besides, who doesn't like a medal? That's totally fair. I did my first uh, virtual workout and I busted my 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 tailbone <laughs> doing a reverse oh, no. burpee. That's terrible. <laughs> so anyway, so so there you go. We we are live human beings, and so John got married recently. Uh, <laughs> Jordan did did some uh, vir some virtual mar half marathons, and, and I did uh, did some virtual uh, obstacle course yeah. races. Excellent. Okay, so let's get into the meat of these things, uh, this uh, fireside chat. So let's start with you, John. Tell us about Unitrends, who they are, and what they do. So one of the things out there, we are one of the leading providers in the backup and disaster recovery industry. Um, Unitrends really is only marketed to partners such as Scott at Optrix, so we haven't really done a lot with the end customers. So you as a client might not be familiar with Unitrends, but we've actually been around for 31 years, started in Columbia, South Carolina, by a dental organization that yeah. wasn't able to 
to back up his practice. So he actually invented himself a Linux-based system. 31 years later, we moved everything um, within now our support and development office in Columbia, South Carolina, which was really nice because prior to COVID, they have an issue with that. They go up to the adjoining floor and saying, we need to work on this and bring it up there. And the nice thing about that is we're 24-7 by 365 direct attack. So any issues, any concerns, any updates that you want, you're physically calling to someone that's residing and picking up the phone. It's not just a call center. So we really love engaging with ourselves and the opportunities to win backup in disaster recovery business across U.S. and really international now. I believe Jordan was, what, 11 offices at least international now? I think, so. I think we're even, even more now with our all of our partnerships and stuff like that. But yeah, it's up there. I think 11 physical. I think you're right, though. Okay. <laughs> and roughly how many clients was it to, uh, would be, would you say you have using your backup solution? I think we're over, we're definitely over 10,000. I want to say it's upwards of 20 or 30 even thousand. I can actually pull up the number. <laughs> Give me a second. It's how much does 30,000 customers globally, right? I think so. Um, I have it here. It is, I mean, it's over 5 million businesses served globally with our large partner organization about, yeah, about 30,000 with like all the backup products. So like the protected data as well. Yeah. So it's so obviously with that many clients uh, and 31 years, Unitrends is a solid no fooling backup solution that's definitely worth looking at. <laughs> if you have not, if you don't have a backup uh, solution, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add on Unitrends specifically? Yeah, one of the things that Jordan's going to help illustrate of how we differentiate ourselves. But the nice thing is you look to a customer saying, okay, what are you doing for backup today? They might be working with three to five different vendors. What are we doing for a software? What are you doing for a physical device? Are you storing that in a public cloud, a private cloud? The nice thing about Unitrends is we're able to accomplish all those different aspects within one vendor in an all-in-one solution. So I'm going to pivot this over to Jordan just to go in a little more detail for that, but in a high level, approach that's the basic and the nice thing about Unitrends that we offer. Okay, Jordan, over to you. Uh, so from a technology standpoint, uh, Unitrends, we really, how do we even break it down? But the biggest thing that Unitrends has that a lot of our other things in the industry aren't necessarily providing is an automated recovery testing. So with the increased threat uh, to our data, with ransomware and other, even the loss of data is a threat as well. Like if I were to lose my information, whether it's like intentional or not, all these different kinds of threats can cause a potential uh, loss of business and revenue or even a uh, lost profit. So what Unitrends has, we have our recovery assurance is one of our coolest tools. What it is is an automated recovery testing feature. What we can do is we can go in and test your backups recoverability automatically. This <laughs> is kind of familiar. You've seen like um, screenshot verification, for example, where you can spin up a machine and it shows you the login screen. That's the old days. Logging in is good, but how many times have you uh, spun up a SQL server and you know the database is corrupted or you can't make transactions or a certain service is corrupted? All that stuff is stuff you wouldn't capture until you actually test the recovery. Recovery assurance can do that automatically. So you go to any security webinar, and they're going to talk about the first step is to have good tested backups. And a good tested backup is one that you know can be recovered, not just one that turns on. And Unitrends can automate that process for you. Not to mention the fact that Unitrends has protection for over 250 different operating systems, ranging from Windows NT to Mac to Linux. We've got Red Hat, all sorts of protection that I think really adds to make sure you can protect everything in a way that makes sense for that environment, get it off site with all the different options, and even you can send it to uh, the Unitrends cloud and you can keep it long term in there or even spin it up. And because I know that you happen to be located in Canada, we do have a Canadian cloud too, so data Good. doesn't have to cross the border into America and be subject to the Patriot Act. Yeah, and a lot of and that is a concern for a number of organizations, especially if they're medical or government. Uh, so that that's definitely I'm glad you pointed that out. And, and in terms of the the backup assurance, uh, it seems to me that where a, a number of organizations fail is just making sure that the backups that they have one exist, mm -hmm. and that and that they can be actually spun up. 
I, yep. I think there, there's a false sense of security there that exists that they say, oh yeah, we're backing it up and they realize that it's encrypted and they lost the encrypted key or uh, or if it was the tape that the, the tape system failed a year ago and they didn't know that uh, or that they do have a backup, uh, but it, for whatever reason it's corrupted and they don't know that it works. So the fact that you that mm -hmm. Unitrends has that, I think is fantastic. Absolutely, so it's so important to do that. Is as well as we had a client that actually ran a recovery test and mm -hmm. they didn't realize they were missing an e-drive. So oh. they would have been, a lot of pertinent information was on that with one of their production servers that they just didn't install that correctly. So they did the test and one of their technicians saying, where's this information on the e-drive? And said, well, it's not being protected by Unitrends. So we would have done our job in a ransomware infection, natural disaster, <laughs> whatever that sort of corruption, because we were protecting everything that we were told to. Right. But the key element, as you mentioned too, is actually proving that everything in your environment is being covered. So that is the peace of mind that we can offer as well. That's fantastic. Awesome. So what makes, so is that what makes uh, Unitrends unique in the industry, would you say? Or are there some other things that are worth mentioning? I'd really say um, our recovery assurance, what's called our data copy access and assurance aspect, and really our ransomware story as well. So I'm going to let Jordan go in from a technical perspective. <laughs> This is very unique, and no other provider within the industry can do that. So that in high level, and again, I go and gain the interest, and I let Jordan go and solidify <laughs> all of my comments to make sure it's backed up with factual data. Sure. And, 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 oh, I'm sorry, Jordan, to cut you off there, but one thing I wanted to mention is a, there was a story recently that came out that said that you can be fined by if you're in the U.S. by the government if you pay the the – uh, the ransom uh, for yeah. to a, a ransomware attack, uh, which seems counterintuitive, but I also understand the logic behind it is because you could be giving money to a country, an actor in a country that the U.S. government bans you to do business with, which is kind of a catch-22 because you want your data back. And if the only way you can do it, if you don't have a good backup, is to pay the ransom, but then you get fined for doing that. So. The better place to be is if you have a good uh, backup in place so that you can recover from. So, Jordan, why don't you walk us through how that happens with Unitrends? Yeah, you hit that right on the money, and I think that's uh, important. I love the idea. That was a good pun, Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> you caught it. <laughs> um, and that's actually a very – it's almost amusing because – about four or five years ago, there was a police department in Massachusetts that got hit with a ransomware attack, and the FBI was quoted saying, sometimes we recommend you just pay the fine. Right. Now, what's happened is an entire business has started with uh, these organizations that basically will purposefully infect uh, companies, departments, targeting a lot of places held by regulation, so it'll be um, – a lot of hospitals and medical, uh, on top of that, a lot of government agencies because they need to keep the data and they're required to do so. So they'll go in and oftentimes they're so overburdened that they don't have a, a way to be able to recover it. They go in purposely infected with ransomware and then they, they actually will help you. You can like call a support line. They like have a 24 seven support line you can call. It's, it's wild how it's, not, it's basically an industry is formed around purposefully giving people ransomware. Hmm. So, FBI is trying to, understandably, you want to stop the progress because, like, it's a tragedy of the commons kind of thing. I want to pay it to get my back so I don't have a good enough backup. The right. short answer, as I mentioned, you go to any security webinar that's about ransomware, number first, the first thing they say is you have to have good tested backups. Ron, want to cry back in 2015, 2016, everything was about if you had a good backup, you were fine. If you weren't, then you had to pay. Um, I can't stress that enough, that not just a backup that works, a backup that can get disconnected, and a backup that is recoverable. It's just the most important piece. Unitrends uses that recovery assurance, so the fact that I know it can recover, combined with the fact that we're running on a Linux platform. So we have a, a secure Linux kernel, so we're less susceptible to the standard Windows uh, vectors for ransomware infection. Not impervious, but less susceptible. And then on top of that, we also have ransomware detection. We're backing up a lot of your data almost every single day. What we did is we put in an AI engine. If we notice a change rate that falls outside the norm of what your normal incremental would be within a given server, we'll send a notification. We don't change anything necessarily, but it's a great way to potentially find out in advance if you're actually getting infected. So we'll check for change rate. We'll also check for entropy. So if stuff looks like it's getting encrypted, 
you'll get a notification in your system, hey, check this server out. Just want to make sure that it's actually not ransomware, uh, but it's better to be safe than sorry. So a lot of capabilities to really try to combat ransomware and stay ahead of it so you don't have to pay the fine. That's the whole point. Sure. Well, and that, and that's actually kind of interesting because uh, you, you, let's say, heaven forbid, you do get a, a caught in a ransomware attack, and so you say, well, then just restore it to a good backup, and you go, well, when in the backup cycle were you not infected? So that's good to know that uh, Unitrans actually has some AI built into it to actually kind of be able to pinpoint when it most likely is to restore to a safe point. And it seems to me with also, if you look at some of the endpoint protection solutions out there, Dark Trace, uh, Silence, where I think Silence, but they they look more uh, they're not so much on the signature based, but more behavior based. Yeah, which is interesting. So so that's a fantastic uh, part that the uh, feature that Unitrans has in terms of backing up for the ransomware attack. Is there anything else you wanted to add on how if your if your organization was hit, to be hit by ransomware attack, the overall experience with Unitrans on how to revert? Yeah, I mean, the experience is going to depend on the environment. That's one of the hard things for us to answer at Unitrans because of how much we can protect. Sure. The short answer is what does it look like? You're going to have to find the backup that was most recent that was not infected, mm -hmm. attempt to recover that, check it, verify, and then you could potentially try to pull pieces out of your other backups to try to recover what you can. But the short answer is, yeah, you want to make sure that you have the actual infrastructure. So if it's a VM, you want to make sure you have the VM snapshot. If it's a physical, you want to make sure you have the bare metal, and that's all going to be part of our uh, backup process too, but it's just the process of recovering. But really, it's uh, acting quickly, because usually ransomware doesn't give you a lot of time, but going in and being able to recover. And if you're confident in your ability to recover, then you don't have the time crunch because you're not worried about having to pay the ransom in time. Uh, also, making sure that you've cleared out wherever the ransom is. We've heard of uh, getting double hit by some people who tried recovering with their uh, backups, where they'll go in, they'll wipe it, but they didn't wipe everything, or it was infected at another device, and then it gets hit again. So, in terms of defining what's backed up, uh, Unitrans doesn't. Um, perhaps you can give a broad overview also of what is backed up. Are we talking desktops, servers? Sure. Absolutely. So the the major Unitrends um, appliance, our recovery series models, those are designed to back up local infrastructure. So you're going to back up virtual machines at the host level. We can back up any server at the operating system level. We have application integration with like SQL and Exchange, uh, Oracle and SharePoint. Uh, we have obviously the physical server integration with all the operating systems I was mentioning. We do also have solutions that are available to protect desktops and laptops at the file level. And then we also have a solution for protecting a SaaS workload, such as uh, Office 365, G Suite, and Salesforce. And same rules apply. Uh, everything that you pretty much work with, you're responsible for making sure it's protected and backed up. A lot of people rely, even in AWS or Azure, we have a solution for that, and we can do protections within there as well. And everyone assumes it's kind of taken care of because you have this third-party provider, but they're really not. They provide the infrastructure and say, good luck. And if anything happens, including ransomware, you're on the hook for it. So having a solution that's able to back it up and ensure that you can recover it is really vital for pretty much anything that you're doing. So anything that's touching any kind of infrastructure you really want to make sure that you have some kind of solution to be able to recover should anything, unfortunately, occur. <laughs> so, oh, go ahead, John. Jordan, why you mentioned uh, really our SaaS platform, uh, I think there's a pretty cool, unique feature that we have, the dark web monitoring embedded in that. Do you <laughs> mind just explaining what it is for Office, 3, Office 365 in particular of how we, we work with that atmosphere? Absolutely. So this tool called Spanning. It's an Office 360, I mentioned the G Suite, Office 365, and uh, Salesforce. We go in, we back it up. It, some of the cool things it offers, uh, we offer self-service restores, so no longer do admins have to be responsible for restoring emails. You can simply have people go into the app within their tenant, and they can just recover the emails or OneDrive or whatever they need directly to themselves. On top of that, for uh, our Office 365 solution, we can add something called dark web monitoring, where what we will do is we will monitor the domain of the tenant that we're attached to. And so if 
that any credentials are leaked on the dark web that matches that domain, we will alert you immediately so you can kick off a password recovery just in case because, as we mentioned, ransomware is just one way that you can escalate and a lot of human um, vulnerabilities are really being ex exploited for that. So finding a way to, to manage credentials and password leaks and things like that are going to be one of the vital ways to protect yourself to prevent these kind of malware events. So having a solution that's going in, actively monitoring, and any time a leak happens, it's scanning it already for you and telling you, hey, these users were hit, these are the passwords that were you, or these are like the part of the passwords that were hit and stuff like that, and you can encourage your users to change their, uh, their passwords immediately so that way you can lower your chance of getting infected. Wow. Thank you. Wow, that's a cool feature too. <laughs> so We try. Yeah, no kidding. So, so, so what I'm hearing so far uh, that I think is important for people to understand, especially if they've never heard of Unitrends before, is that if you if you're looking for a solution, if you're if you look at your organization, taking a step back and say, do we have a backup solution? If you don't, well, then let's talk <laughs> about Unitrends. But if you do have a backup solution, then really consider. Um, how how effective is it for your organization? Because you look at Unitrends and some of the big features that I've we've been hearing today are the the backup assurance, so you know that it's backing up uh, every uh, it's the backups you have are actually useful. First of all, yeah. Two is that if you're if you want something that backs up your basically everything in your environment, done check. Three is from a since ransomware is such a big thing at the moment that there's AI in the background that's watching to make sure that it looking to see if things have changed and alerts you so that they find that you are under a ransomware attack and two it gives you a good idea on uh, when in the backup cycle you have a safe backup if you want to call it that and mm -hmm. and then. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh, also, if you're using uh, SaaS products, G Suite, Office 365, uh, as John said, it's get, the service is given to you. Good luck with it. Unitrends is backing that up. And uh, with the dark web scanning that if, if your credentials are out there on the dark web, uh, it's letting you know about that too. Wow. Is there anything I've missed that you really <laughs> guys want to highlight or is that a good summary? Oh, that's great. I, re I really think at the end of the day, uh, everyone should have a backup plan. If you don't, talk to Scott. But if you do have a backup plan, are you backing everything up? Is it getting off-site in case something were to happen? And how confident are you in that recovery? That's really the main pieces. And backing up everything. Think beyond just the servers and desktops you have. Am I backing up my emails? Everything that's business. Think of that as a business application, not the programmatic application level. Fantastic. John, anything you'd like to add there? We're just looking forward to, to love to be able to work with partners such as Scott, um, speak to customers, seeing what you're dealing with on a daily basis. What are the struggles that you're having? How can we can assist you? Because honestly, this is a partnership that we want to make sure that we're servicing you with an actually desirable product that's going to help you in your time of need. So let's have those conversations. We're looking forward to hearing everyone. And hopefully everyone's staying safe and happy and healthy. Yeah, and also I, I like that you added uh, earlier that what uh, in terms of the so level of support that you'd get if you're a Unitrend uh, owner of a uh, Unitrend solution is you're actually talking to a live human being who can help you uh, with whatever you, you need, which is great. Now, early, now er, earlier what we had talked about was that uh, that there's an opportunity to get a fifty dollar gift card. Huh. So maybe, so maybe John, you'd like to talk about how somebody might be able to do that. Absolutely, so what we're able to offer is anyone that comes in there that has a business need that reaches out to Scott Optrix that we can get in there, we can have a discussion and actually demonstrate our capabilities, we're gonna be able to reward you for $50 for that. And we wanna make sure that's a valid business need and we wanna also give you something. So is it worth your time? And we believe that $50, whether that be, we'll send you lunch or a gift card. We wanna make sure that we're also giving something back to you as an organization. Sure. Not just Exactly. So basically, if you uh, if you're interested in in having if you don't have a backup solution and or you would like to look at uh, changing what you have, uh, we'd love to talk to you. We'd love to have a conversation. Love to give you a demo of of uh, the Unitrend solution and see how it might fit. And for that, uh, you'll get a fifty dollars gift certificate or gift card. Um, and uh, and and hopefully also you'll uh, look at. Uh, 
seriously looking at a Unchained solution. So in order to to get that, there'll be links where the video is, but you could also uh, uh, visit uh, uh, optrix.com or you can call it or email us at info at optrix.com. Uh, our phone number, and we'll also put this up, is one 463 7638 it, it should appear at the bottom uh, or somewhere. Uh, uh, so get in touch with us, and we would love to uh, talk to you about that. So uh, in closing, I think we did a, a great recap, uh, and uh, appreciate your time, John and, and Jordan. Lots of great information shared. I hope everyone watching this enjoyed this little fireside chat, and uh, we'll certainly do more of them. But uh, thanks for your time. Really appreciate it. And uh, Jordan, also we were talking talking about skiing, uh, yeah. you being from Utah and uh, we being from Alberta, uh, Alberta, where there's lots of mountains and places to ski. So hopefully we'll have a good ski season. And John, can, again, congratulations on your, your wedding and, and enjoy that as well. So thanks, gentlemen, for your time. Take care. No worries. Take care, everyone.